Now, I'm sure this week has been big for everybody, especially those who have been looking forward to the new Star Wars trilogy, also known as the fourth Star Wars trilogy by the creators of Game of Thrones, David Benioff and D.B. Weiss. This is Mike Zero. Make sure to subscribe if you're new to the channel for future Star Wars content. Now, I'm sure that a lot of you have been following a lot of the stories by Variety, The Hollywood Reporter, etc., etc., Deadline, talking about the new Star Wars trilogy, also known as the fourth trilogy, that was going to be centered on the origins of the Jedi by the creators of Game of Thrones, David Benioff and D.B. Weiss, before they actually left this project. Now, this project was actually said to be very well into the works. The script was getting pretty much, you know, nearly done. They had all the treatments done, and they were about to start writing the script in full and that they were all set and ready to write the official script during the fall of 2019 this year. Now, a lot of fans around the world are celebrating with the fact that David Benioff and D.B. Weiss stepped down as writers of the three new Star Wars movies that are actually set to release throughout the 2020s, and now, of course, the head of Lucasfilm, the president of Lucasfilm herself, Kathleen Kennedy, is said to be in a state of worry, where she has to find new creators for this new Star Wars trilogy in order to release new Star Wars movies, in order to really support the brand, really support the franchise, and to bring it in a different direction. So the fact that Kathleen Kennedy is now in a worried state and, of course, trying to figure out exactly what she needs to do for the Star Wars franchise, it really does open up one's eyes, right? We can see the inconsistencies with how, you know, the creators stay on board with Star Wars films or Star Wars projects. So many firings, so many creatives stepping down or not meeting the creator's expectations and causing a divide, leaving, of course, other creators to leave those projects. We see this quite often under Disney Star Wars, and I think it's one of the main reasons as to why, at least in my point of view, just Kathleen Kennedy's leadership leadership just really is not the best as it really could be at all. I feel like that she doesn't really make the best choices, that's just my opinion, when it comes to exactly... Who's really going to take on these new Star Wars projects? I mean, if you look at Solo, a Star Wars story, that was a prime example of how Kathleen Kennedy just does not know exactly who is the best fit for the Star Wars franchise. You know, after Game of Thrones Season 8, I think that Kathleen Kennedy definitely did realize that, you know, this probably isn't the best idea. In fact, you guys may have heard the other stories a couple of days ago that David Benioff and D.B. Weiss, they're stepping down, all right, was actually really a soft firing where they were not really agreeing with their creative decisions back in August and that this entire thing has been discussed since August of 2019 this year and that Disney and Lucasfilm were working around this of them stepping down for quite a long time. So the fact that now, of course, Kathleen Kennedy has to find other creatives, other writers and directors for this new Star Wars trilogy in order to create a new mythology of Star Wars really has put her in a state of worry and a state of what in the world am I going to do right now, right? So that's exactly why I think that when we look at Star Wars as a whole, there's a lot of inconsistencies with the leadership by Kathleen Kennedy, uh, Disney and Lucasfilm's, you know, decisions on who should really be involved with Star Wars. And that's probably one of the main reasons as to why she brought Kevin Feige on board. The fact that, you know, this has been discussed since August of 2019 of David Benioff and D.B. Weiss leaving, you know, Star Wars. The fact that it was just too much for them for, you know, the Star Wars fan base and the Netflix deal that they had and how their creative decisions were not matching Kathleen Kennedy's. I mean, there's a lot of talk out there right now between The Hollywood Reporter, Deadline, Variety, you name it. Very interesting stuff, and I gotta say, I mean, when we think about Kathleen Kennedy, I think it's best for her at this point, just in my opinion, for her to step down and to have Kevin Feige become the new president of Lucasfilm. Now, do I agree with Kevin Feige's, you know, direction with the new Marvel content in the forms of live-action TV series and movies that are going to be released in the near future? Not 100%, I will say that there are quite a number of projects out there that I really feel it just isn't necessary. That's just my point of view. But with, of course, Kathleen Kennedy's leadership of, you know, the Star Wars franchise, things really need to be fixed. Bob Iger most certainly has to change things, and I believe needs to really replace Kathleen Kennedy with somebody else as head of Lucasfilm. Now, mind you, with, with what happened with The Last Jedi and the backlash it received, that was really a big deal. It really was a big deal, and especially with solo Star Wars stories, box office results, which really led to the cancellation of over 10 years worth of Star Wars films. Can you believe that? Over 10 years worth.
of Star Wars films, one of which was actually the Boba Fett film and the Obi-Wan Kenobi Star Wars movie that has now dwindled down to a live-action TV series, which, by the way, is still great. I'm still excited about that, but I would have much rather to have Obi-Wan Kenobi as a movie to actually see that in theaters. The good thing about it being a live-action TV series at the same exact time, though, is that with TV series, you get more character development because that's going to be six hours plus worth of material of Obi-Wan Kenobi in between the events of episodes four and, of course, you know, three. That's what I like about that. So, anyways, guys, drop a comment below. Let me know what you think about all of this in the comments. And if you guys did enjoy the content for today, do make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. I thank you all so very much for the kind support, and I'll catch you guys next time.